There's nothing like stepping on the ice in the Ralph. Like gives me goosebumps every time just thinking about it. Louis Jamernick V is a hockey player. A junior at the University of North Dakota, the Calgary native has become one of the top defensive forwards in the NCHC and a key member of UND's Penrose Cup winning teams each of the last two seasons. Louis is just such a hard worker. He's a team first guy. He, he, he's an everydayer in everything he does. He's a gritty player. Um, but he has hard skill, and that's kind of a commonality between um, a lot of our players we have here and the type of guys we bring in. Growing up in Alberta, Louis took to hockey before he could walk. My dad told me I wanted to be in skate since I was one. Took me out on the ice and started playing organized when I was four. Playing hockey is pretty fun. But while he's always been drawn to the ice, Jamernick discovered another lifelong passion at a young age. One as unique and as challenging as the sport he's currently starring in. Grand Forks Tower, Mooney 9640 right, Mike is holding short of 17 right, uh, ready for departure. Planes are just wild to me. You see, Louis Jamernick V is a pilot, or at least a pilot in training. <laughs> I mean, I love to fly. It's just another level of freedom, it's, I don't even know how to describe it. Since he was 10 years old, the only rival to Louis' love for hockey has been his dream to be up in the clouds. My boys had a flight simulator on my mom's computer and just playing it, I loved it. Both grandparents uh, flew my, my uh, study ethic on dad's side. He, he got his private license at 50 years old. And then my grandfather, he was a navigator in the Air Force for Canada. Following in his grandfather's footsteps was always Louis' goal, but as he continued to excel on the ice, playing college hockey in the States entered the picture, thanks in part to his Alberta Junior League coach, Tyler Dice. So I was playing junior hockey in Okotoks and, and my head coach kind of called me in and he goes, if you could play anywhere, where would it be? And I just said, kind of half-hearted as a joke, you know, North Dakota, just because being from Western Canada, North Dakota is a place to be. From there, he just said, um, like, what do you want to do? And I want to fly. And so he said, give me a list of schools that have flying. So I found the top, well, the, I guess the only five schools with Div 1 hockey and flying, um, and North Dakota is number one on that list. Wanting to play at UND is one thing. Being good enough to do so is another. But there was something about Louis' game that caught the attention of head coach Brad Berry. He was the guy that just kept, kept coming up on, on how we play at North Dakota, a guy that has very high skill level, but a guy that competes extremely hard. An Alberta native himself, Barry attended one of Louis' games in Edmonton just before Christmas in 2019, and the rest is history. It was a garbage game. We were losing four or five nothing within the first five minutes of the game, and um, I, you know, I kind of, you know, had a couple big hits and, and then fought this guy. A rookie on his junior team was getting pushed around and beat up, and he jumped in the pile and just grabbed the guy and, and just said, hey, if you want to mess with somebody, mess with me. And that's what a, a team first guy does. I guess that was enough to get Bubs' attention and bring me down to North Dakota. When I got the call, I, I was losing my mind because it's number one of both. The term best of both worlds is the truest form sentence ever for this situation. Jammernick arrived in Grand Forks in January of 2021 and quickly carved out a niche for himself in the UND lineup, all while starting the gauntlet of being a commercial aviation major at the top flight school in the U.S. I don't think we had too many aviation students come through here, and it's not because they don't want to, it's just because of the time commitment of it. Jackson probably asked me five times, are you sure you want to do both? We're all student athletes, very time consuming, but uh, that aviation is a whole new level, so he's getting flights in when he can pretty much any day that weather allows. Um, I can't even imagine how much work that is. Up at about 6 a.m. and you're at the rink till, till noon and then you get to class and then I think we were up in the air three times a week and then you come home, do homework and watch maybe about half an hour of TV if there's time and then you're back to bed so not a whole lot of free time. It's hard but it's not that hard because you know when you love to do something it's pretty fun to do it. A leader in the locker room on a perennial national title contender, Jamernick has also maintained a 4.0 in the classroom while earning his private pilot's license in the process. I've had amazing flight instructors. Scheduling was very tight, and, it, and it's tight even in the semester, so if it wasn't for uh, Ryan, Sydney, and Brett, you know, really changing up their schedules to accommodate for mine, I, I would not have had a chance to finish in the semester. Beautiful. It's very smooth out today. 
In the summer, we were flying five, six times a week. During the year with hockey and fall semester, it's, it's a little trickier, but yeah, it, we made it work. Louis' goal is to be a commercial pilot someday, though a full-time career in the skies will be on hold until his time on the ice concludes. So for now, this delicate balance of two extraordinary worlds will continue for the impeccable Louis Jamernik V, both player and pilot. I want to play pro hockey, I want to play in the NHL, that's always been my goal and I'm going to continue to pursue that I think. But just having the opportunity to do both while I'm here, I think it's, it's been perfect. So to work towards both goals at the same time is, you can't beat that. All right, Alex, uh, how rare is it to have a UND hockey player in the aviation program? It's incredibly rare. I mean, these are two disciplines that take a ton of time and a ton of expertise and skill. Brad Berry, who's been with the program for over 20 years as a player and assistant coach and head coach, has said he has no recollection of anybody trying this. So the fact that Louis is able to pull this off is pretty impressive. And Louis is going to take hockey as far as he can, right, before he gets into an aviation career. He's a good player. I mean, he's, he's been a key part of this North Dakota team since he came on as a freshman. His goal is to move on, play professionally. Whether or not he makes it to the NHL, we'll see, but he's gonna try this out as long as he can. And once hockey's done, he's gonna be in the cockpit. All right, good for him, man, thanks. This has been Midco Sports Magazine presented by Build Your Base with Beef Sports Nutrition and Training Program.